Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I'm gonna make a quick video, and I promise this will not be 30 minutes long. It's just a quick rundown of how um how to use some of the debugging fi <coughs> features here on the Kyle uh, the Microvision um IDE. And um, so let's get to it. Uh, first things first, your uh your project actually has to compile properly, or else it's not gonna debug. And the reason for that is because you have to be able to upload it to your uh, microcontroller. So once you upload it, okay, it's running on your microcontroller, you can add different uh, breakpoints. For example, you can make it uh, add some breakpoints here. Uh, it has to be on an actual line of code. For example, it can't, at least I don't think it can be on a bracket or a, a space. Or, you know what I mean? It has to be on an actual code maybe at the entrance of a function I'm not sure we'll see anyway so once you do that you can hit the debug button here you get the warning that you're in evaluation mode which means uh, you have code size limit of 32 K which is fine um, and then it starts at your main okay so even if you don't have a breakpoint there it will start at the first line of your main and the good thing about this is that you can um, you can see different uh, peripherals. For example, here I have GPIO A, and I have the RCC and all these um, other nifty little things here. But if they weren't there, you can go to um, Peripheral System Viewer, and uh, let's go to RCC. So it's going to show me my uh, uh, my register for my clocks here and you, as you can see I'm going to enable the GPIO A register the alternate function register and the UART and these are going to be on APB2 so here is APB2 and here's everything that's in there now the way this works is it's not going to show you what this line does until you pass it and these little uh, symbols right here is telling you where you're at but this is where you're at this is not what you've done once you pass this line you go to the next line that's when it actually did this line you know what I mean so you have to actually pass the line to execute it and to step out to the next line you will do this it'll go step one line so it steps over one line and now it actually did this line and now you can see as my code states I have the GPIO A enable which is this right here and if you click on it, uh, it this right here will tell you what it is port a clock enable this one right here is alternate function clock enable and here's another check mark you are one enable now if you go in and, and actually click it it'll actually set it in your actual microcontroller even though you haven't typed the code for it it's actually doing it live okay so okay so that's that um, now let's go to GPIOA where it is okay and uh, this has all uh, the registers of uh, all the peripherals you want to see so where the hell okay here we go A so now here we have control register A um, and again we can step through the lines and it's I've set mode 9 at this current Time I have configuration as three mode as not mode as also as three. Once I get to this line, it's gonna change uh, config to two, and there it is. And it always highlights whatever was changed in the last instruction. Now the last instruction only changed the configuration bits, so that's the only line that's highlighted here. And again, so you can view things like that. You can see. Uh, this helps you see if your code is actually doing what you think it's doing. You know, sometimes it's not. Or it, in my case, it helped me spot an error where I was just um, I wasn't clearing uh, the zeroth bit in configuration nine, and I had the value of three when I know I should have had the value of two. And what I saw was that I looked at these, which I haven't modified at all, and I noticed that they have certain reset values. I and the configuration bits have certain reset values as you can see and they're not all zero zero so I was like you know oh crap this thing is not zero zero as I thought it was 
Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, here you can see the actual registers of the core, which it uses to, you know, do its operations and things like that. If you know anything about the really low-level stuff, um, I might do some tutorials about um, how to work with these. But this, uh, this kind of stuff you really use mostly in assembly. And I don't really know any ARM assembly. I know AVR assembly uh, that we studied in school. So maybe we can look at that. But you can look at your uh, stack pointers. Here's your main stack pointer. Uh, you can also watch variables. Um, do I have any variables? No, I, I don't really. Well, how do I add this to the watch list? Uh, crap. Memory, here you go, memory. So, there we go. So here we go. Um, I wonder if I can, uh, let me see if I can, no, run the, so if you wanna, let's say right now, my, uh, the processor is halted right here. All right, if I want it to just run everything that it needs to run and just skip to when it gets to this line, you use this right here it says run start code execution and it's just gonna run until it uh, encounters another breakpoint so I would do that and there you go it stopped right there where I had that breakpoint okay and um, I'm not sure why I was showing that well I guess because you need to know things like that so yeah um Okay, yeah, what I wanted to see was the value of this buffer, which uh, for some reason it's not really showing me. Um, I'm not sure how I would go about that. But again, you can you can play with this stuff. Um, I really don't know the in and outs. Oh, yeah, here it is. Right. Uh, so here's the... How do I make all this crap bigger? As you can see, here's the value of that entire buffer, literally byte by byte. And since I have 80 uh, bytes allocated to it, it's going to give me uh, obviously 79. But these are the ones that I've actually used, and it says, hello, I am blah, blah, blah years old. So yeah, so you can watch your variables, things like there's actually another piece of software by uh ST that also kinda lets you watch variables. Um maybe I'll do a quick video on that right after this. And it's cool because if you have let's say a variable that's counting, it lets you uh watch that variable and you can display it as a chart, um, as a line graph and things like that. So maybe uh, we'll go on to that. So anyway, so this is good, uh, like I said, mostly to see what your microcontrol is doing, how it's manipulating the memory, what's actually being stored in your variables, and uh, things of that nature. But definitely to it, it's good to look at your uh, peripherals and make sure you're setting things, um, things properly. Okay, guys? All right. Uh, enjoy, and uh, hopefully more videos coming soon.